Have you ever wanted to use Apple's Keynote application to help you do some animations? You may not think that Keynote is the perfect animation application, but it's got some pretty good animation features in it. And if you have a Mac or even an iPad, you can use the Keynote application for free. But there's one thing in Keynote that was giving me a problem, and that was getting my own drawings to animate. Something like this, where the drawing draws itself. And I finally figured out the trick to do it. So that's what I'm going to talk about on today's episode of the Expat Animator. I actually go way back with the program Keynote to actually the very first day that it was announced by Steve Jobs in January 7th, 2003. I was actually at that Keynote in San Francisco and watched him demo this uh, application for the first time to the world. This is another brand new application and it is called Keynote. And it was pretty cool uh, to experience that. It was my only keynote I ever saw of Steve Jobs live. And after the demo, he actually gave everyone in the audience a free copy of the keynote application on a DVD that was actually for sale for $99. So I was pretty happy to get some free software and started using it a day one. So I've been using Keynote now for almost 20 years. And although I don't use it all the time for my animations, it's something that's fun to go back and use occasionally uh, to see what the new animation tools are. So let's go ahead and switch over into Keynote and take a look at what you get when you launch the app on a Mac. So you get this little window pop up and it might uh, be set to default to use your, your Keynote iCloud account. Uh, to store files and that might be helpful if you're switching from device to device so I'm just going to keep it in there for now and let me hit a new document and I actually created a few keynote uh, templates for myself so let me just open one of those and we'll hit create and this is not really a keynote uh, tutorial I just want to show you this cool trick of how to have your own drawings animate uh, the line work so that you can use that in your animated projects Okay, so here's just a basic Keynote program. And what I want to do is I want to just open a blank slide. And then there's a couple of things you can do here. You can go to Media and import some different options here. And you can see here there's Add Sketch. And I can add a sketch from my iPhone that it sees. Now, if I wake up my iPad, which is right here next to me, uh, I should see an option for my iPad here in a second here. So let me open up my iPad. And I may have to just click this again. Okay, here it is. So here's my iPad. And I can add a sketch from my iPad. But why would I want to do that if I've got a drawing tablet right here in front of me on my Mac? Well, the reason is you can't do a sketch on the Mac in Keynote yet. And hopefully that's a feature that's coming in the future. But um, So the workaround is you have to use either your iPhone or your iPad as your drawing tablet. Unless somebody else knows another way to do this on the Mac with not having to use your iOS device, uh, let me know in the comments. But this is the workaround I figured out. Let me do a quick thing here just to show you the what we want to try and do. We're going to just bring in one of the default drawings from, from the program. And then we're going to go here to animate and watch this. When we go to build in... You get these effects here, and there's a whole bunch of them. And this is this is the area I really like. Keynote is you can do some cool animation tricks uh, very easily. But you see, all the way down here at the bottom is trace. And if I preview this, watch what happens to this horse. It's got a built-in like drawing animation feature for the images that come with Keynote. But if you try and bring in your own drawing it won't give you that option here in the effects. So let me show you what that looks like. So let me just bring in my own PNG image of a drawing I've got here. If I try and add this effect uh, and I go to the bottom here, that trace was at the very bottom and now it's not here anymore. And it's because it can't trace my own drawing, but that's the effect that I, that I want to get here. So how do we do this? Well, one way we would think that it would work was you could click here and go down to add a sketch from my iPad. And if I click that, it's going to give this dialog that's saying add a sketch with your iPad. 
use your iPad to create the sketch. So now if I look at my iPad over here, it has launched like the notepad drawing app. So if I just want to do a quick drawing here, let's see if I can do this. Let's just do a quick, let's just do a quick drawing, something like that. And then I'll hit done. And then it instantly pops it over to my Keynote app. So now if I have this drawing and I want to add that sketch effect, I come over here and look to the bottom, but it's not there. So that's that's kind of weird because it's like, you know, it should you would think that it would work. But that's not the workaround. So here's the workaround is we want to open this keynote up in the keynote app on the iPad. So it's the same app, but it's on a different device. So what I need to do is I need to open up Keynote on my iPad. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch monitors so you can look at my iPad here and then we'll come back here to the Mac. Okay so I'm going to put my iPad on top of my monitor here and let me just go home real quick. So we're just going to launch Keynote and I'm going to open up the file that's on my iCloud drive here. I'm going to hit edit and then I'm going to hit a new blank slide here. Let's go down to blank. And then what I want to do is I just want to draw uh, something real quick here. So let me grab the Apple Pencil. And then we just need to hit this plus sign because we're going to tell it that we want to do create a drawing here. So if I click this, then we see if we get these drawing tools pop up. So I'm just going to click this and... I want to have white as my color and then let's go ahead and just do a quick drawing here. And then we will hit done. And then I can make this animate from here, but I'm going to go back to the Mac and do it from there. So let's go ahead and we're just going to get out of this and I could even go home at this point. And then we're going to turn off the iPad and go back to the Mac. Okay, so we're back in Keynote, and I'm going to open up the file we were working on, and that's going to sync up, and you can see here is the drawing that we created on the iPad. And so if I come over here, or I got to select the drawing, and then I come over here, and we're on build in, and then we add the effect, and if you see right here is line drawing. It's giving us this right at the top, and if I hit preview, that's the effect I want. I want to see the drawing drawn in real time. So I'm going to click that and you can see it's not at the bottom anymore. It's actually um, a different name. Before it was called a sketch and now it's line draw. So I'm going to click on line draw and that adds it to our build. And you know there's some options here for acceleration and this is going a little bit slow for me. So let me take this down to like two seconds. And you can adjust this right there. And then we'll preview that. And that's a little bit better for what I want. So now that we've got that, we could export this uh, as a QuickTime movie and import that into our video editor. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just go here and delete these other... Uh, slides that we don't need and then I would export this as a movie and I'm just going to set these both to zero and let's set that to 1080p self plane and we'll s export that and then we'll put that we'll play that in QuickTime and see what that file looks like so here's that file let's go ahead and open it and we'll hit play and there we go. So I will be able to use this animation in my video editor. And as you can see, this is not a great act, uh, workflow. Uh, it was kind of a pain going from the Mac to the iPad back to the Mac. But uh, maybe if you wanted to just do the whole thing on your iPad. But uh, I prefer working on Keynote on the Mac. But now you know how to make your own drawings animate to life using the Mac version of Keynote. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Hopefully you did too. That's going to do it for today. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. 
Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.